now you are listening to Dr. Troy Munson with words of radiance. Now here is your host, Dr. Munson. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Troy Munson and I cringe at the idea of thinking what if I didn't have any supplements? Cuz like I'll get I'll get mid back and neck pain and I'll take calcium lactate and it's like instantly almost instantly better. I, in fact, it's my tell when I'm low on calcium. And let's say I had clients come in and they had all these deficiencies and they start saying, hey, I, I, there's no more supplements. No company's making any more supplements. And, and what would I do? You know, what, what are we going to do if we can't get supplements, if we can't get whole food supplements and try to replenish the body? What in the world would we do? So let's say somebody somewhere outlawed all supplement companies and drug companies, let's say, and all of a sudden all this stuff was gone and people are like, what are we going to do? Ah! And so we're forced to now try to get food. Now, here is a little known fact that you may be surprised. Back in the early 1900s, like 1905, 1915, they would, they would get uh, wheat and they would mill the wheat and off would pop the wheat germ and they literally would have piles of wheat germ at these uh, flower plants where they would mill all this grain and they didn't know what to do with it. And so this guy, I forget the name of the gentleman, but it, it it's somewhere in the back of my head, but he would ask them, he says, hey, could I take all this wheat germ off your, your hands? And they're like, sure, we don't know what to do with it. So he would take it, repackage it, and then sell it as a supplement. It was one of the first supplements. I'm thinking, my gosh, how good would that supplement have been? Because wheat germ is like all the trace minerals, vitamins, good oils, omega-3 fats. Way back then, I mean, they only had one kind of wheat, and they didn't use all the pesticides on it. And it was amazing. And they would literally give that wheat germ, and, and back then it was actually for uh, fertility. Because here you have all these women, they don't have birth control pill. And if you remember my podcast, if you've been listening for a while, I did one oh, a couple months back about the birth control and the pill and how it literally kind of saved women's lives, even though now it's kind of wrecking them. But you'd have women that would be 12 pregnancies in and they would literally die. And that was common that women literally would pregnancy themselves to death because they're just pulling constant nutrients out of their bodies. And those women that couldn't get pregnant because they didn't have enough nutrient density would take wheat germ pills and lo and behold, they would get pregnant because it literally was supplying and replenishing their body so that they could actually have a pregnancy because the body's like, dude, you don't have any nutrients in us at all. You can't even feed you. And you would expect us to have a child and then you to nurse the child and try to feed the child when we can't even feed ourselves? The body was doing it for a very good reason, being infertile. And so why do we see infertility so high these days? For that very reason. And so if I had one sup, if I had one food that I, I just that's all you'd allow me to do. That would be the most potent. Now, you might think, oh, he's going to say wheat germ. Well, now that would be my first choice, but, you know, nobody, there's no wheat germ anywhere. There's no companies milling grain and rolling this wheat germ and having big piles there. They just don't do that anymore. In fact, I don't even know where it goes when they mill the grain. I have no idea. But I do know that when they produce sugarcane, in like, you know, CNH sugarcane, you know, just remember the commercials when we were little, and they would take the white granulated sugar out of sugarcane, they would be left over with this black tarry substance that would help the body that ate the sugarcane deal with all the sugar. So they took all this, this black tarry stuff out of the sugarcane and left the white granulated sugar that you and I eat, and now we deplete ourselves of, of tons of minerals and nutrients and everything. So that black tarry stuff, some of you might already know what it is. It is black strap molasses. So if I had nothing else to do with anybody, I would do black strap molasses right now. It's easy to get. It's easy to come by. If you have a couple of gallons in your house, you know, maybe, you know, people are all talking about weird things happening in the world and possible food shortages. I don't know if I buy it, but you know what? Might not be a bad idea to have some black strap molasses on hand. 
because it would be whole nutrients that your body could certainly use to live on. And then if I had a secondary one, I'd go raw milk without, without a doubt. Those two would be amazing. If you let me have a third, I'd do liver. Liver is one of the most potent foods on the planet. The good news is you don't have to taste it. You can just swallow it. You just get it down any way you can. Go for it. Some people love the taste of it. I Awesome for you. I'm not a big liver fan, but I have eaten it raw and I have just swallowed it down with water. It's easy to do, but it is fairly nutrient dense. So those are kind of my top three. If I, if I didn't have anything with somebody, what would I do? I mean, those are kind of things that I would choose to do with, with folks if I didn't have supplements. So until next time, I'm Dr. Troy Munson. Mm-hmm.